Hey everyone, it is Tuesday. I'm going to try and get the lights so you can see my face. Tuesday the 13th of August and it is 4.15 in the afternoon. And I'm in my kitchen for a reason. I was going to set you up there. I'll try not to dump the camera too hard because of that battery. Um, it's been like that ever since Buttfingers here dropped it not long after I bought the camera, so... <laughs> My fault. Anyway, I've just been to Specsavers for an eye test because I want to get on the road on that scooter, don't I? I can't read a number plate at the required distance without glasses, so Mum booked us all an appointment at Specsavers. Um... In short, not a lot has really changed with my right eye, which I didn't think it had. My left eye is still just as weak. Um, she put the, um, on, they have like an electronic chart now, they don't have the um, projector. It's like a little screen. Um, and they, she put the four big letters on there and I could only read three clearly, just with that eye, from that short distance. It's... <sighs> Hard to explain, but it's been like it since I was born. They tried to correct it, not with surgery. I didn't have any surgery to try and correct it, but um, I did wear the eye patch where um, you look like a pirate, basically, you know. Arr, over my good eye, which they were hoping would force the left eye to work and improve the sight, but it never worked. Anyway, before you go in for a test with Specsavers, they take photographs the inside of your eyes and they do like a little puff of air test just to make sure your eye pressure is okay and whatnot that's all fine um, the only worrying thing that they found when they took the photographs of the inside of my eye is that at least one blood vessel near the retina which is your optical nerve or near your optical nerve I should say um, has had a little bleed because when you're diabetic a high glucose in your blood can weaken blood vessels and they can leak. Um, and that's what happens in your eyes. And that's what can cause you to go blind. So, knowing that my sugars have actually been up and down like a yo-yo lately, you know, I could go to bed with them down at a reasonable level and wake up with them up in the air. Which I absolutely hate. I hate the fact that they're doing that and I want to try and do something to get them as low as possible. Um, but people that know me know that I love my condiments. I love my sauces, my ketchups, my barbecue sauce, my brown sauce, my burger sauce, all of that. One problem with them, they are absolutely chock full of sugar. So I've come into the kitchen and I think I'm going to have to get really, really tough on myself. And I hope Mum and my other family members and my friends will do the same thing with me. Whether I like it or not, if I get the hump, tough, <laughs> you know, I want them to come down on me hard. So I've come into the kitchen because I've got loads of sauces in my fridge. So I'm going to start with this one. This is tomato ketchup by Sainsbury's. Now I'm going to read the nutrition information for sugar. This is a 460 gram bottle and the sugars, and this is per 100 grams, the sugar content in this is 10.5 grams. So you're looking in the region of close to 100 grams of sugar per bottle. That's a big pile of sugar. You see this? <coughs> Prove that I'm not lying when I do this. It's going in the bin. We're going to do that with every bottle that is in my fridge. Here's some classic barbecue HP sauce, right? It's got the ingredients there. Servings per bowl, 31, so they're doing this um, per serving, I think. Of which sugars? Jesus. This is more than a tomato ketchup. You ready for this? I've lost it, hang on. Per 100 grams, 25.5 grams. I've been eating this quite a lot lately. Without thinking to look at this, for some reason in my mind I was thinking it's probably about the same as the ketchup. 
No. This has also got per 15 grams, which I'm guessing is what they would consider a serving. Which is actually a damn sight less. 3.8 grams. But you know what? Bin. I'm filming this because I don't think people, if I told them, would actually believe me. So at least this way I can say, well, there's the YouTube video I made. Do you believe me now? Something has leaked all over my fridge. Something very nasty has leaked all over my fridge. Actually, I'm going to check that out because it's gone dry. It's actually ketchup, <laughs> of all things. I need to just rinse my hands. It's only just as well I'm doing this because uh, my fridge does need a clean. Need a birthday, right? Heinz salad cream. I actually stopped eating this anyway. It's been in there quite a while because every time I eat salad cream, my guts don't like it anyway. So with this one, again, it's got per 100 grams and per 15 grams. Uh, this has got 17.2 grams per 100 grams. This is a 425 gram bowl. Per 15 grams is 2.8 grams. And the problem is with me, I have more than 15 grams when I eat this. A lot more. I probably have closer to the 100 grams, and I'm not kidding. Bin. Next. Oh, look. Heinz Burger Sauce. So my eyes are still functioning right. I can still read the print on this at a decent distance. Uh, this is a 230 gram bottle, so per 100 grams, this has got 9.3 grams, uh, 1.4 grams per 15 gram serving. Like I said, this is very wasteful, but it's for my own good. Right. Bats. This is Lidl's brown sauce. I'm also filming this because it's quite informative for those with diabetes. I hope someone with diabetes will read this, will see this video, and then get some idea that sauces like this, no good, don't. Just, they're not worth it. I'm just trying to find it. It's carbohydrates. So what's this? 408 grams. So per 100 grams, it's 17.8 grams of sugar. There's quite a lot of fibre in this as well. It's nearly a full bottle in the bin. Come to think of it, I could have probably taken some of those down to mum's and given them to them. <laughs> hey, mine. Right. I'm still having a bit of a sort out in there. That's rubbish. Uh, um, they're rubbish because they're freaking horrible. Forgot that was in there. Well, it's been in there for too long now. Unfortunately. Right. Ooh. Some mayonnaise. You're probably thinking, as this is just eggs, vinegar, and something else, and it's not going to have any sugars in, but I guarantee it will. Oh, not a great deal. I could actually. I'd be okay with this. So I'm okay with mayonnaise. Because this has got 1.5 grams per 100 grams. So per tablespoon, as it says on here, this has only got 0 0.2 grams in. Okay, that can stay. Did I do this one? No, I didn't. That was Sainsbury's ketchup. This is Lidl's. Uh, yeah, bats. Not bad sauces, but... Do not swear I can hear something ticking over here. Anyway. Nutritional information. Where the hell is it? Where is it? Ingredients. Storage. Additional information. Oh, well, this is quite easy to make. There's only a half a dozen ingredients. 72% concentrated tomato puree. Sugar. 
Spirit vinegar, salt and spices. Doesn't actually say what the spices are. I was down here, bloody... It's me looking for it and there's a table right at the bottom there. Right, so... Ooh, 23.4 grams per 100... Oh, this is done in milliliters. So this is per 100 mils. Why do some companies do that? This is measured in milliliters, but the others are all bin grams. I know why. German brand, isn't it? Their metric over there. But I thought we were, so I'm surprised they're not in milliliters. <sighs> anyway. Per 15 mil. 3.5 grams. Bin. I think I've only got one more to go through because I've got another one of them burger sauces in here. In fact, as that is an unopened one, I will take that one to mum's. So, oh, the other one is another barbecue sauce, so I'm going to go straight to the bin as well. What else have we got? An open pack of corned beef here. Still in date as well, that's good. We'll have a corned beef sandwich later. Uh, that can go there. Oh. Ranky lettuce in here as well. That I've forgotten about. Right. One more thing in the uh, lounge. I was going to check out, but I think I'll give that to my brother because he likes his Yorkie bars. I've got a Yorkie bar in here. Do I like it? No. For the sake of my health, do I have a lot of choice? Nope. Seafood sauce. 250 milliliters. 28 grams per tablespoon. Just 15 mils. That, I actually feel bad because I, I never thought to check that. If I'd known they had that much sugar as in, I would have never touched them. But that is a lot of sugar per tablespoon. 28, that's nearly 30 grams of sugar per freaking tablespoon. That's, that's ridiculous. That's, I don't know why these companies feel the need to do it. Anywho, they're all gone now. I know I'm not dirty enough to go and pilfer things out of the garbage like that. Oh. But uh, yeah, so I decided to do this video for two reasons, like I said. One, to actually prove that I did chuck all my sauces out, apart from the mayonnaise. Because uh, that's got very little in it. Um... Yeah, so I need to uh, change my diet big time. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to how I was when I was first diagnosed. I mean, I'm not going to get away from sugar. Not unless I just, well, even vegetables and fruits have natural sugars in, so it's almost impossible to get completely away from sugars 100%. But, I can drastically reduce uh, my intake of sugar. So, Oh yeah, and the other reason was to um, make a bit of an informative video out there for those that may have only just been diagnosed with diabetes and looking for a bit of uh, support and information. Sources, no good. Uh, fruit is a bit mixed, because they have natural sugars in, which is bad for you. <laughs> But fruits are actually good for you, so 
Yeah. Um, so I've got sauces all over my hands. I'm going to have to go and give them a, a thorough wash, I think. <sighs> I actually feel good that I've done that, though. I don't like it because I don't like waste, so I've just gone and wasted all those sauces. Um, but never mind. It's for a good cause. Because, uh, to be honest, I could live with losing a limb. If I lost half my leg to diabetes, I could live with that. don't think I could live with losing my eyesight. And I'm being honest, I really don't think I could cope with that. Um, that's probably the, the one thing that worries me about diabetes. Losing a limb, not really. Would I want to spend time in hospital? No, but who does? <laughs> does anybody actually like spending time in hospital? Hello, noisy. Yeah, daddy's home from his appointment. Anyway. Yeah, so I hope someone finds this video useful. Um... So thanks a lot for watching, I will talk to you in the next video, bye!